Hey guys, Tarko Cycling FPV, and as you can see behind me, we have a lot of work still going on in the garage. We have some painting to come in and some stuff to get done here since we're working from home quite a bit more. Like today, I got my boys, so I'm not going into the shop. I have no reason to. Uh, anyways, I know that you guys were asking me about that on the last video, and that's why. So I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to be staying home now. Uh, at the same time, I got one of my cameras. My front camera right here is updating right now, but I didn't want to wait on doing this video because I've got a lot of work. I'm backed up quite a bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of jump right into it. So here's what I'm working on right now. I'm getting ready to set the, send this hex mover out. I do have to give a props, a shout out, and, and I mean this, I have to give a big shout out to Ivan. Uh, Ivan Efimov, I guess is, is, is how you guys know him. He's uh, definitely on the racing scene. Uh, and the guy's just an all around uh, cool guy. Has a I think probably the biggest thing about Ivan that I really, really respect is that he doesn't care. Like, he doesn't care. He's got no filter. He'll just tell you if he thinks you're stupid. And I respect that 100% because I consider myself to be the same way. I guess uh, maybe he's a little more refined than me on that area. But uh, fact is, is that whether I agree or disagree with him, which I enjoy the fact that we can disagree on things, uh, he doesn't sugarcoat it. And, and there's a lot of respect to that. Anyways. The reason I'm giving him props is I want you to see this. He designed this, okay? This is the, I asked him to design a canopy for this hex, uh, hexa mover, and Ivan's probably the best at it. I think he's the best. I, I really do. I think hands down the guy's amazing when it comes to designing canopies. Um, this is the same canopy. I printed it in PLA and then print, painted it just so I can get an idea of what it looked like. And then I've gone ahead and done the final for this gentleman. So I'm going to go ahead and get ready to put this on uh, here. So what we're going to do is I've cleaned everything up here. Um, and uh, I'm going to first let's get the parts put back on so there is a well you know what I say this and then I totally have a brain loss here and forgot where I put my BTX which I need oh wait there's a box of goodies here oh what's in here hmm, I don't know my wife brought this home for me to do something with it I'm not sure what it's for probably for a build um, hey babe Two things. One, I'm, and I'm recording right now. Did you bring the camera that I asked for? The, I got the antenna. I don't think you asked. Oh, the Raytel? I didn't bring that. Okay, that's okay. I brought the antenna. Any idea? Okay, where's that? In this black bag? Uh, no. The, in your car? Yeah. It's in the car. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thanks, babe. All right. So we have an antenna. There's a Raytel already in here. Uh, so, but it is one of mine, and um, I wanted to put another one in here, but that's okay. It's not going to delay me sending it to the customer. What I'm trying to figure out now is where the heck did I put? And you know, it's probably right in front of me. I just don't know where I put it. Uh, my tank. Where's my tank BTX? Because I held off on putting it on here because I wanted to check with the uh, stuff first. But now, oh, here we go. Phone's ringing. Uh, I'm going to have to take this. Hold on one second. Sorry, guys. Hello. Uh huh. Yeah, that's my son. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, that's okay. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes, ma'am. How much is it? $175? Oh, okay. Next time. <laughs> I thought we are talking in the thousands. No, that's fine. Holy cow. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Thank you. I appreciate that. No, $125 is just fine. If you'll please just, yeah, get all that ready and let me know when I can come get it and I'll, I'll come pick it up for them. Uh, just whatever's causing his rashes. So that's what we're trying to solve. Now everything else is good. Uh, 5546 um, Silent Timber Path Lane. And that's spring seven seven three eight six. Thank you so much. Bye bye. She said, since her insurance doesn't cover that medicine, she goes, so it's kind of expensive. And I said, oh god, how much is it? She goes, it's one hundred seventy five. I'm like, dollars? I go, oh god. Go, Do you not know how much everything else costs? That's awesome. Very cool though. So they're gonna have it ready in just a little bit. Yep. Uh, I don't know yet. I don't know anything about it. So I'll have to find out, I guess. Okay, so babe, I need your eyes. I cannot find where I put the tank. VTX. You, uh, where? 
Unless you've touched No, because you put it in a, it was in a bag with these goodies. Yeah. Okay, then I put it here, and now it's gone. So help me, because my eyes are dying. Come on, you're always good at this. You're not good anymore. Okay, here's this. Oh, thanks. Uh-oh, you've lost your touch. You've lo just lost it. I know, I lost the item, but you've lost your touch. I don't know what's worse at this point. <laughs> this magic moment when you find what I have lost. You sure it's over there? Nope. If I knew it was here, it wouldn't be lost. The, the fact that you can go from here to here. Hey, I don't want the lecture. I just want you to find it, okay? okay. No need for the lecture. Wait, what's in my pocket? <laughs> it's, been, it's been in my pocket since this morning. Wow. That's awesome. Man, it went to the gym with me. Wow. That's pretty bad. Okay, I'm leaving. Okay, thank you. I'm going to... Ashton and Amaya are going to meet us at the football game. Okay. Um, I'm going to go drop this package off. I'm going to pick up the jacket line. Love you. Okay, love you. Stay in touch. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, this was in my pocket the whole time. That's funny. So there's that. See, things are crazy around here. All right, there we go. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put these on first. Oops. The camera's still rebooting, so sorry you have this ugly angle to deal with. One, or it's not even the angle, it's the ugly me to deal with, but the angle isn't helping. <laughs> Let's just go with that. All right, there's two. Now this hex mover has been here probably longer than any other drone I've worked on, and it's because I kept trying to revise it. Um, the frame, we've actually come out with our own, and I'll show you guys the new hex uh, frame that we've come up with. But, you know, this customer, I just wanted to take good care of him, and that canopy was one of the many things that we did here. Um, you know, we deviated from the norm, which was uh, using a 4-in-1 ESC. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to make this unique and kind of make it really cool, too. Um, all right, so we've got the VTX in. Now what we're going to do is we're going to plug in. Uh, this is, oh, I've got to plug in the camera first. So let me do that here real quickly. And the thing was, is we tested this before, but when I asked Ivan to make the canopy, he's like, hey, look, I can do the canopy, but you've got to switch everything around. Because we had the front over here. And he's like, no, we got to use this. To so that was really tedious. That was probably the, one of the worst things about this was that having to undo all the soldering for this was a pain. And then you had to move everything around. And, but was it worth it? I mean, this canopy he, he created is definitely worth it. I mean, they're hands down worth it worth it worth it so uh i i definitely uh i definitely i'm glad that we made that decision i'm glad that he you know said we need to do that and that we did it because i don't think we would have had the success with the canopy uh, otherwise especially not to fasten it down so the way this is going to work um i'm going to take these camera wires and tuck them up and then we're just going to set these slide over the standoffs just like that. And um, the antenna will sit like this. And that is all she wrote. And then we'll take this box here antenna and attach it to the back. Let 
that should give us enough. But now I'm gonna to tighten it so that we do that. properly. There we go. Okay. Yeah. I mean, this thing looks so amazing. Ivan, you really did well on the canopy. Again, I know I've said it a hundred times, but I mean, I couldn't be happier with the canopy. I think the canopy was extremely well done. The print came out great, but the design, I've got to give complete, complete props and credit to Ivan for coming up with a design that uh, just looks amazing. All right, so now we have gone in and siliconed everything, all the wires down. We have left four uh, spots open for the VTX, so that, I mean, not the VTX, for the RX, so that the customer can add his own TBS. He's got his own set of TBS receivers that he's gonna use, so he's gonna be good there. And then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna power this up. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous, man. This is just gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that, boom. Look, I mean, that's not beast mode right there. Yep, that's beast mode, all right. All right, so let's power it up. We're gonna get the uh, TVs. Oh wait, is our front camera back on? It might be. Looks like we might be back in business, folks. Sure hope so. And there it is. So now we'll get a better angle here. Let's do it like this. Boom, we're back. Check this sucker out. Beast mode, what? Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and plug it in. Okay, let's turn it on. And let's check the monitor out. Make sure we have video properly done. God, my stupid wire is wrapped around everything, so bear with me. It sucks. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Look at that. Gorgeous. Just freaking perfect. I mean perfect. I love it. Love it. Love it. So there you go. This sucker's ready to go. Uh, I've already I've already mapped all the motors. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think that's the way it goes. But anyways, they've all better been mapped. So all he has to do now, just plug it into Betaflight. Access is right here to his USB port. Plug it into Betaflight and set up his radio the way he wants, and he's done. This thing is done, guys. I'm so pumped about this uh, because it was it's been a work in progress for a while. Uh, and, and like I said, I think the, the final straw on this one was getting the canopy done to make it look amazing. Um, you know, there's a probably going to be a little bit of a trying to figure out how you want to mount the battery. I think this is going to be probably the only challenge that would be. But when I flew it, I put the battery underneath. Um, and I would think that there's probably an easy way of uh, wrapping around the arms and getting it. So there's going to be a little bit of a challenge there but I don't think it's gonna be anything too bad. I think the rest of this is gonna be pretty awesome though. Um, anyways, we're getting ready to do our own hex version, but there you go. That's it right there. Let me go back to a front camera version right here. There's a front camera shot of the hex. Look at that, dude, beautiful, beautiful. And I think he's gonna love it. So that's it guys, uh, special shout out to my customer there for that. Thanks a lot for your patience, by the way. I know this took a while, but you know, I really wanted to get this down right. Uh, you've got six ESCs, individual ESCs. That way you don't have to worry about changing out of four and one. Wiring will be easier for you if an ESC does go bad. 
but you're all set. Everything's perfect here. So listen, God bless, be safe. Enjoy flying this beast, okay? Uh, and uh, we're going to get on to our next RMA now and some other work that we have to do. So we'll see you guys shortly. Please, as always, subscribe to our channel. There's the uh, YouTube thing. Subscribe to that. And uh, I guess that's about it, man. God bless. Be safe. And I'm getting to go see my boys here. We got a football game tonight. We got a football game tomorrow. I am the coach for tomorrow's game. And it's going to be brutal. Oh, hopefully we can go without losing every game. So far, we've lost every game. So, um, But we're having fun. And I get to spend time with family. You go do the same. You can always fly later, guys. God bless. We'll talk to you soon. Peace. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.